morning. <clears throat> it's been said before, but I'll say it again. The wonderful thing about realizing, there's many wonderful things, but the overarching wonderful thing about it is that it's discovered that there isn't morning. There isn't day after day. There isn't holding the phone in a weird way today. There is, but it's just what's happening right now, independent of anything else. And perfectly harmless. There's nothing to do. There's nothing wrong. And all of the notions of there being something wrong are also just part of the perfect harmlessness of it all. This didn't actually start off the way that I was hoping. I was thinking that it would come out a little more eloquently than that. So let me try again, but you know, basically it's just wonderful. It's amazing. It's, it's the best thing you could ever discover because, you know, and the funny thing too about it is like, the qualities, the color of the recognition, the realizing and the different ways that that surfaces or transpires at least here, seem sometimes to be influenced by or accentuated by a bout of, or a little spell of suffering or a little segment of, you know, sickness or struggle or whatever. And at the same time, it's taking very little of that. Like basically, I had a blast last night, <clears throat> have an old high school buddy back in town visiting. He and I had a punk band growing up. He's now a DJ. <clears throat> and uh, he played a show with some other, you know, kind of old cronies, indirect people, that <clears throat> uh, friends, but kind of like friends of friends. <clears throat> we went, we danced, we drank smoked a couple cigarettes, uh, ordered Domino's at midnight, you know, gorged on junk, passed out, <clears throat> woke up feeling like hell, drank a bunch of water, uh, kind of rested it out, farted it out, <clears throat> pooped it off and <clears throat> pulled myself together to bring the dog out so that she could poop it off <clears throat> and there's just such clarity there's just you know there's there's feelings at first of like oh god I feel terrible and oh this is just you know what did I do to myself and you know, that sort of sometimes is surrounded by <clears throat> feelings of despair or depression and kind of like, you know, some contemplation around like, what am I doing with my life and what does this all become? And, you know, awakening is basically crushed that, <clears throat> but it's crushed it so that it can be reshaped as something a whole lot less dramatic, a whole lot less stressful. And then it's clear and it's seen that, that, uh, I guess I already said that it's just, it's seen that, or yeah, you have those feelings and, and, um, <clears throat> thoughts and then here anyway, it, it's seen through and, uh, 
and really I find that the coming back to recognizing that <clears throat> it's it's just another I'll I'll add this something that helped point me this morning was I, I watched a little clip of a Rupert video and this woman was talking about how there's some, I don't know, story or parable or something she read or heard or whatever, where uh, God, I guess, takes, this person's inquiring about what it all is and, and God takes this person's head and pushes it into water and down facing into the water and in the water the person sees himself falling in love getting married, having kids, being all happy with their family, and then this war breaking out, and the, the wife and kid's dying, and then he's crying, he's so upset, and all of a sudden, God pulls the head back out, and says, why are you crying? <clears throat> and, you know, the point is, is that the person realizes, like, oh my God, it was just a dream, the whole thing was just a dream, no, nothing really happened, it was very realistic, and it seemed like it, <clears throat> but it was just a dream and that is just what this is every new day you wake up and <clears throat> the more you realize and recognize the more you realize that there there wasn't yesterday there was and there wasn't you know like yesterday happened but it happened right now and now today's happening and then tomorrow's going to happen but it's all happening right now and it's all being forgotten and it'll all be forgotten and no matter how hungover you are or sick with an illness or you know war breaks out and kills your family you'll wake up and be like oh thank god it was just a dream and so it just is so nice to realize that and you know, and then what's funny too is that there's there are people who, you know, come in and challenge that and say, how can you prove that? And da 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 da. And <clears throat> that's part of it too. And all that's forgotten. And it's like, you know, it there's a period where that, that tricks you and makes you go, well, yeah, how can you prove that? Well, you can prove it because look at what's happening. Just pay attention to what's happening. Every single day that you experience it just disappears. And it's gone and you can't retrieve it and you forget about it like you know all the little days that you've had <clears throat> especially the ones like 10 20 30 40 years ago just have these like little images and you know maybe parts of it are a little more dynamic that you remember but for the most part you don't and even when you do remember it it's just like this little sort of you know, <clears throat> movie playing in the other room and you walk past to go to the bathroom and glance at it. That's what a memory's like. It's like, you know, and sometimes you stop and watch the movie and you get a little more deep into it and then kind of, you know, reminisce. <laughs> but then you, then you finally stop watching and you go to the bathroom or wherever you go, off to work, outside, walk the dog. And, <clears throat> and that's that and that's it. And that's this. And all these videos and whatever, all the stuff that you do is just poof. And I know that it's just the same damn story here, but what else is there to talk about once this is discovered? And I don't think there's really, in my opinion, anything else more fun to talk about because <clears throat> to discover that it's all utterly harmless that you win to recognize that you dream this and then you dream something else and then you dream something else and then you dream something else and that's all that is and really to say you dream it isn't even fair right if I'm being all non-dual PC but <clears throat> you know there's just dreams of life no one actually living life dreams of people living life 
dreams of animals living life, dreams of life happening that just are dreamed and then disappear. And <clears throat> then there's another, and then there's another, and then there's another. But you can see how, <clears throat> you know, if you allow yourself to let go of the idea that you're bouncing along some linear thing and instead it's just dream, 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 morphe, 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 all in one spot, not even in a spot. You look closely enough, you realize there's not even a moment. That's just, it, it's, it's an inexplicable thing that is happening and not happening. Haven, come here, get up on, get up here. She thinks she can walk in the road all of a sudden because I let her leash go. <clears throat> Uh, hey, no, no, stay over here. I mean, if you, if you, if you look at that and you recognize that and you realize that and you see that, what have you got to worry about? It'll be done. It'll be over soon. And then a new one will happen. And you know, like all the terrible things that you dream or that could ever happen are just dreams so they're not terrible at all they seem really terrible but they just disappear and it's over and you're still there or dreaming still goes on and you know I, I think there's there's been a lot of sort of like in the process of seeing this there's been a lot of sort of muddying of it by way of watching and following and listening to lots of spirituality and spiritual teachings and whatever it's helped. But, but, but now I'm at a point where I'm like, you know, a lot of it is talking about like, <clears throat> trying to sort of separate, trying to really solidify in yourself that, that you're, you don't have any control over what happens and that, you know, there's an opportunity for you to be free of this, liberated from it by seeing that you're not doing any of it and it's happening on its own. But like that whole notion is just a notion that will trick you into thinking that <clears throat> there was ever anything harmful that was happening to you in the first place. Uh, you know, the talks of like focusing all of your attention on, uh, the self and the self alone. I mean, I just did a post on my channel, a Ramana Maharshi quote talking about focusing on just only on the, the only thing is focus on the not self. Well, I think that's pretty smart, but just to be clear, <laughs> no animals were harmed. No beings were harmed in the non-focusing on the not self. If you don't abide, that's okay. You're gonna be just fine. It'll seem really awful and the sort of survival thing will, you know, feel really awful. I mean, shit, the hangover did not feel good and it's still kind of there. But when it's seen that it's just a dream, it almost becomes joyous. It's, the suffering's almost kind of like, whoa, what an effect. Damn. I can deal with that because I'm just going to sleep it off. I'm just going to wake up from this dream and do another dream and it'll be gone. So it's all right. I mean, the, the whole, you know, the whole idea of like getting stuck in some like suffering caves some you know unending spiral or loop of suffering yeah I mean in a way that is what happens but the thing is is there's no time so even it even if it seems to go on for a billion years it doesn't go on for a split second once it's over it's like it never happened because it didn't ever happen really it's the weirdest shit very paradoxical but it is what it is. 
and so and the dog's rolling and stuff again <laughs> it's bath day though so she can do it she can just get all stinky and gross and then i'll go suds her up she's so funny she she really hates the bath i don't i mean i guess some dogs maybe like it but she doesn't uh but then once she's done, she loves it and she gets the zoomies and zipping all over and is all happy to be clean. And so it's a little ordeal. But uh, yeah, just don't forget that it's all over soon. It never, it never even began. And it's completely harmless. So wherever you're at on your path, whether in full seeing of this or just hearing these words and not quite getting it, trust me, you are immeasurably okay. <clears throat> you cannot measure how freaking okay you are. You cannot even understand how infinitely okay, more than okay, excellent you are. You ain't got a dang thing to worry about. Because merrily, 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 merrily. Catch you later. Peace.